Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another tutorial in series of the key clock. And today I am going to explain and show you how you can create the user uh, from one app and pass this information to the key clock. Uh, as you observe in this slide, there is the one app which uh, I developed just for purpose of the this demo. And also uh, we have the admin REST API, which is the, the one API of the key clock. And uh, it's absolutely rich in nature and is involved in so many uh, feature of the key clock. Uh, if you're interested in all these details, you can check the document of the admin REST API from the key clock website. Uh, we are not going to all these details just for creation of the user, I, I would explain. And uh, with the help of the, as I said, with the help of the admin REST API, uh, this information will be available in key clock. Uh, so, before we jump to the coding part, I would like to have the short demo for you to see how uh, this scenario will work. And after that, I will jump to the coding part to explain in the details. Okay, uh, here we have uh, the APP, which I, uh, developed just for purpose of the demo. And there are so many features here. Just in this tutorial, I am going to explain about the add the new user. So for the new user, when we go that uh, it's, uh, there are some items based on my uh, preference, then uh, I selected uh, just this attribute. But this is not, I mean, uh, it's not limited to this attribute and you can add whatever you like. So for instance, I would like to add some items like uh, uh, the first name, the last name, I will just put as a one uh, example. And uh, this is just, I put it uh, here for active, uh, yeah. And then we can submit. When we submit to this uh, user, you can see that the user created successfully. Uh, then you need to, uh, okay, I need, I think, refresh. Yes, you can see the the user in Kikilog already created this this user as a X and also blue the Gmail last name blue first name Martin and this is the ID. Yeah, this is uh, the demo and the, we would like to create this one. Fun. I will show you the the coding part. Okay. Okay. Here I have the the some files. One is the uh, this client uh, secret JSON. I think before we discussed about this item, and if you are not aware of that, just very quickly I can uh, show you this information. These are these are the information which you can find it in the uh, key clock server. Uh, if you don't know how you can find this information, please watch the, the video. I will ping in the below of the, this video. Then you will uh, understand how you can find this information. But actually this information all is available in the uh, key clock and uh, necessary for uh, SSO, okay. Uh, then we have the the one app for the the, the Flask server, and 
and there are some uh, data for templates uh, which are involved uh, for the UI part. For example, you need add and index. This to, to uh, HTML file is necessary uh, for the this demo. So let's jump to the details of the code and to explain one by one. Okay, then uh, here we have the our Flask server, which these are all is uh, common, and uh, we we explained about these items in the SSO, uh, and uh, we bro <clears throat> broke it down to how and why you have such this information. Just a very quickly, we'll, I will summarize again as a recap to explain that uh, these are for the, the Flask with uh, the, the frame, framework and you need to install it. If you don't know how to install, you can search about the, each item, but mainly they need just the pip install, for example, request and, and so on. You will uh, find this information in the, the website of the uh, Flask and just to search it in Google, you will find it. Uh, then you have the Flask for the server and there is the one, the secret. Uh, this is the secret uh, for uh, the JSON, which I shown you. And there are some configuration part uh, for, for example, the, the profile email, which is also related to the key club, and you need to configure it. And then you come to here, uh, you need to pass the uh, this uh, file of the, the index HTML, which is your main page. Uh, basically, that is, I think, uh, let me back to the system if I am mm. I need to log in yeah this is actually for the index part and uh, you would need the for the add new user, also another uh, HTML file. So uh, this is for just the, the index for home page, and uh, is talking about the for the SSO if uh, already is logging. So that's okay. Then go to index. Otherwise, go to login part. This is related to logout and you need to consider it uh, based on the configuration in the key clock and URI. This is actually uh, the URI for the logout and th this is the complete part of that. And I uh, divided in these two parts and pass it to log URL. Uh, then you need uh, for the ad when you click on the add button, then it's need to direct to this part. And uh, it's another HTML file. Uh, so when you click on the, the add and it's come to the HTML file, I uh, put it in this way to come another, uh, for example, branch as a save details and it comes as a method of the post and it will post this information of the uh, this data and what is this you can uh, find this uh, uh, information in the the add html file which i created here for example 
yeah, these are the information which you need to to pass it to uh, your server. Sorry. Uh, this is actually is uh, the URI for the token part. This token you can get it from the the server of the the Keycloak. This is available, and you just need to uh, uh, direct and call this uh, the API and then in endpoint. Sorry, then it will uh, give you the token. So for that one, you need the uh, the user admin, which has the right for getting the token. Then this is the token payload of that. Uh, it's in this format. You need the client ID, which uh, already you defined. And also that you need to uh, define the grant type, uh, the username, password. Username, password already here mentioned and also client secret. This is a client secret, which is available in the Keycloak client part. And uh, then uh, this information just give you the, the access token. Uh, after that, when you want to create the user, you need the, this URI. Oops. Okay, then uh, this URI is available in the I think uh, the documentation of the uh, admin API, it is available over there and you can get it. Otherwise you can copy uh, exactly the same. And uh, uh, these are the information which you will get it uh, from the HTML part. This, for example, here I define the ID, username, uh, first name, last name, email, uh, and the enable, and so on. So you just need to uh, uh, to pass this information to the the username, email, enable. These are the attribute which is coming from the key clock. It's exactly the same attribute in the key clock, and these are the ID uh, which is coming from the uh, the your HTML part, and uh, then there is then the define the header and the type of the token, and at the end the response is uh, uh, this is the JSON user data is here, and also there is the header and the API URL which is here, this API URL, and after you pass and everything is correct then user created successfully otherwise it will give you the fail yeah this is the the main code uh, for the python part and as i said it's very uh this uh html part for the ad is very simple in html i didn't uh, uh i didn't do very fancy uh, for the, the UI, just the, for purpose of the, this demo. And also you can see here, I, I defined the, some uh, different part for the add user and delete change and, and so on. These are just, just the functions which I define and each one of them uh, need a different process. For example, for the delete change and, and so on, these are uh, uh, has uh, has the uh, different URI and then you need to pass it. Yeah, uh, that's all from the, my side and uh, this is uh, the demo for the creation of the, the user. Thank you so much for watching uh, this video if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like button and subscribe channel. See you in next videos.